Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist, and I'm excited to bring you this new video series intended to enhance your understanding of your vestibular condition and to provide information that supports the work you're already doing with your healthcare provider and vestibular therapist. Now, one of the most common questions that I've received in the clinic from people who are undergoing vestibular rehab is why it takes so long to see results from vestibular exercises. We all want to recover as quickly as possible. But since vestibular conditions typically don't have any visible signs of injury, there are also very few visible signs of healing. And therefore, it can be challenging to see progress. In this video, I'm going to compare two key components of vestibular rehabilitation to other types of rehab. It's helpful to understand a bit of the why and how of vestibular rehabilitation in order to appreciate the amount of time it takes to recover. A well-rounded vestibular rehabilitation program is based on a wide variety of principles that are adapted to meet each individual's condition and needs. Two of the main principles are adaptation and habituation. Now I'm going to break this down to talk about each of those processes separately because our bodies respond to these principles differently and take a different amount of time. Adaptation is the process of restoring normal function of the vestibular system and the communication pathways between the vestibular system and the brain. Many vestibular conditions cause dysfunction of the vestibulo-ocular reflex, or VOR, which is the way our brain tells our eyes how to stabilize what we see when we move our heads. Now I've created a separate video with specific information about the VOR and the associated exercises. So click the link in the description below to view that video. Through VOR exercises, we're essentially strengthening our brain and our eye muscles and the communication between them. So adaptation is the process of retraining the brain, and this takes time. Just as healing from a bone fracture requires approximately six weeks, and just as achieving strength gains with a strengthening program takes about six weeks or so, it also takes about six weeks of daily vestibular rehabilitation exercises in order to start seeing results. It can take a few months or even longer to fully recover, just as it does from a serious bone or muscle injury. Another main principle of vestibular rehabilitation is habituation, which is different than adaptation. Habituation is the process of decreasing the body's reaction to stimulation. In this case, decreasing the dizziness or other uncomfortable sensations that are sometimes felt during certain body movements or in a busy environment. The exercises involved with habituation typically include movements that cause discomfort. With consistent practice and enough frequency, our bodies become less sensitive to those movements, and we're able to start performing regular daily activity with fewer symptoms. The response time involved with habituation varies greatly from person to person. It could be anywhere from a few days to more than several months, and is highly dependent on other personal factors. Combining these two processes, vestibular rehabilitation is highly individual. And many people with the same or similar diagnoses may experience very different recovery processes and duration. There are some key ways to maximize optimal recovery. The first is to be consistent with your exercises. Also important is to be patient with yourself and give yourself credit for daily activity that is challenging for you. You might also ask family and friends if they notice any changes in your balance, activity level, energy, mood, and your ability to perform your daily activities. Oftentimes other people around you will notice these things happening before you notice them yourself. And it can be very motivating and validating for you to hear their positive feedback and that'll help you continue going with your exercises. If you're working with a physical therapist, ask them for ways that you could measure your progress and goals. If you are looking for a vestibular therapist or other medical provider for assistance with evaluation and treatment of your symptoms, check out Vita's provider directory to help you find someone in your area. Click the link in the description below for that directory. 
Now, I've recorded another video with some specific ways to decrease the discomfort of vestibular rehabilitation and to make it more manageable. Click the link in the description down below to check out this video. Also, on my professional channel, Movement and Function, I've posted a variety of videos on vestibular rehabilitation from beginner to advanced level and focused on specific diagnoses. So check out the link to my channel in the description below to explore those videos further. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about vestibular rehabilitation and why it takes the time it does in order to see improvement and ultimately to help you get back to doing the things you love to do every single day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Vita's channel. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.